Oh my God, I love that movie. Speaking of, of that woman in that movie, I don't think that she's on, on the thing over here because Mo didn't move quick enough. You know, Jennifer Lewis. Jennifer Lewis. We love, listen, let me tell you something. I love that one. Y'all have to understand that I love Jennifer Lewis with every inch and every being an essence inside of me because I remember I did an interview somewhere and it was when my TV show came out, the T.S. Madison Experience. Um, and when it, when, it, when it came out, now, am I bloviating? No, no, no. Go ahead. Okay. The T.S. Madison Experience, when it came out in March of 2021, I, I did an interview and they asked me, well, Madison, if you get your own television show, who is going to be, who will be your first, oh, your own talk show, who will be your first guest that you'd like to have on the show? And I said, I'd like Jennifer Lewis. I remember that. I, I, I like Jennifer Lewis. What y'all don't know is that after all of that stuff aired, I got a phone call from Jennifer Lewis. Mm -hmm. She said, <laughs> yeah. That's her. <laughs> now, I don't know where I seen you talking about me yet, but I seen you talking about me. And I heard you say, that when you get your own television, your own talk show, that you want me to be have your first guest, and I'm gonna grant you that. And I was like, girl, I love you. Da, 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 something I was just scared of talking to her, whatever. And she said, now listen, I'm getting ready to get out here and do the tour for my book. Mm -hmm. Have you got your copy of my book? I said, girl, send it to me. buy it. <laughs> <laughs> right. <clears throat> of my book. And we talked on the phone and we laughed and we keyed or whatever about it, whatever. And then I, and my last words to her was, I'm still huge in Kinlaw. Okay. And she says, and I am. Because <laughs> she's from Kinlaw. Yeah, Kinlaw, Missouri. Kinlaw, Missouri. <clears throat> so anyway, we went on, life went on or whatever. And um, I got the turned out with T.S. Madison show and all that type of stuff. But, but, but our schedules didn't align. However, I was in L.A. one, one time mm -hmm. and she, uh, there was, she was getting her, her star on the uh, Walk, of Walk of Fame. And then when she, uh, I, I, Shangela called me and she says, Maddie, I know how much you love motherfucking Jennifer Lewis, girl. We having a, a star, a walk, a, walk on the, a walk on the star fame, whatever. And we and she and she wants you to come over. I was like, girl, bitch, I had hurried up and threw on me a piece, honey, an old, old nasty red, yellow, and blue, honey, re representing the fags, girl. <laughs> honey, got me got in me a car and came over to Miss Jennifer Lewis. It's it, it, illustrious home. Mm -hmm. It was very illustrious. Mm -hmm. Came over to her illustrious home, honey, and she came in. And she's like, Yes, yes. You know, she is very grandiose. Oh, yes, she is. Yes, yes. She was a fag in a former life. But she was definitely a hood bitch, though. Oh, yes. Bitch, they got it. We got in there. We started eating chicken, girl, honey. I was drinking some infused Kool Aid, honey. It was infused with marijuana. <laughs> bitch, it was so good, bitch. I was over there. I was so, I had got it. I said, I could, what is in this? <laughs> this is amazing. It has such a different flavor. Yeah. <laughs> what is, what's in this? <laughs> yes. <clears throat> honey. By the time that 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 uh, lemonade had got all got all got all up and through me, honey, and it was all up and through her, <laughs> bitch, we started keying and cackling, honey. She says, "You know what I want you to do, T.S. I want you to talk to me as if you were going to talk to me as if you were going to interview me on your show." I said, "Okay." So she sat down and she crossed her leg. You know, she's all that. Yeah, those are the things she gets. She is, and she started telling me stories and started telling me a lot of things or whatever. We started talking. We, girl, that Aretha story she told me about how Aretha had her plate fixed. Girl, <laughs> what was the story? Girl, her plate was. To the uh, uh, she said Aretha plate was sitting that high. And she said, uh, she said Whitney Houston told her. She said, she said Jennifer. She said Whitney Houston said because she was going around and see. She said, now Jennifer, when you go around and she said Aretha takes that queen shit serious. <laughs> she said Aretha takes that queen <laughs> shit seriously. Right, right. <laughs> and said they was throwing some kind of festival or some kind of thing in there for, for Aretha or whatever, or some kind of honor or something, honey, and nobody would eat. And when Aretha arrived, honey, it was like a buffet, bitch. She said Aretha <laughs> walked around there on that had that motherfucking tray. <laughs> bitch and Lord, she said that plate was how high. And she and this was a, she said, Yes, Queen Eat. And she said, Aretha said, You see it. <laughs> 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 I think I had fell on the floor because I could just imagine Aretha carrying on like that. You see it. You see it. 
<laughs> and girl, God. she say Aretha had devoured that plate like no other. I'm sure. Girl, we talked about her and Jennifer Holiday. Garage. We talked about her and Jennifer. I said, girl, did you ever have beef with Jennifer Holiday? Because I watched you and Jackie's back. Mm-hmm. And you did that. Ah, ah, ah. Mm-hmm. And, and she said, girl, uh, we had a little, a little run in. It was over some fried chicken. <laughs> girl, when I tell you, I have to explain to y'all that bitch, that was there are so many days that, that that I hold near and dear to my heart. I've hold I've I, all the private times that I share with RuPaul. I hold them near. No, let me see. Who is that? Uh, you want me to go check? Yeah. All right. You the only man in this house. Wait, Wait a minute. minute. Where's the? <laughs> <laughs> you and I are here. <laughs> <laughs> but the illusion <laughs> is that of a woman. <laughs> <laughs> but the illusion. I know that. <laughs> what is it, girl? <laughs> but Craig, the illusion <laughs> is what? Instead of a woman. <laughs> Again, <laughs> you were right. We're both male. But the illusion <laughs> is what? Instead of a woman. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Let us be perfectly clear. Oh, God. <laughs> you and I both are male. But the illusion <laughs> is that of a woman. <laughs> Oh my God! I know that's right. I want you to be. We need to be very clear, <laughs> quite clear, in our conversation. <laughs> we are both male, but the illusion is that of a woman. Uh, oh my God! Oh my God! My stomach is killing me. <laughs> and don't you leave this house thinking anything else? That's right. You and I both were born male, but the illusion is that of a woman. <laughs> oh my God! You're so crazy. And there we have it. But were you going to tell them that Jennifer fell? Were you going to tell that? Is that what you were about to tell him? About the interview that she did with Robin Roberts? It's security. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Hello. Hello. Salutations. Salutations and greetings to you too. How are you? Let us pivot back to something and then we're going to get into Jennifer Lewis. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to do this, and I'd like to do this very, it's very important that I do this. Let me, let me explain. Mo, can you come here for a second? Come, come here. Come here for a second. I'm I feel she's about to be messy. I am, I'm not. I'm about to, I'm about to show her. Oh. I'm about to come here for a second. Can you, can you bring, bring your darkness in here? You see this, let, scoot over. This, you and the microphone are blending. Blending. Hold on. Uh, blending. Scoot, come on, come here in the front. But bring your ass and come down now. <laughs> you see this? This is a man. <laughs> this might be a man, but this is a man. Gee. This is the illusion of a woman. You smiling? But you this, laughing? <laughs> you just now, G, you just got here. I know you security. Oh, okay. Come on. Don't 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 break the move here. Okay, go ahead. This is a man. And this is a man that it is secure in him being a man. This is a heterosexual identified man. This is a man that is secure in him being a man. He comes to this basement every day, every mm-hmm. other day. Even if he doesn't make a check, he will be here. But he makes a check. So that's an incentive. It is an incentive. <laughs> of course. However, of if, course. if there was no check, he'd still be my friend. Of course, definitely. Right? And a lot of times, the children get out of control. What y'all don't be understand is Moby really hot about that. Moby over there ready to gun a bitch down. And I don't mean the way that some of you want him to gun you down. <laughs> no, 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 babe. Mo not uncomfortable. He's very, he's shy. He's that type of Libra. He don't have, he's not, he's an October Libra, but he's I, not the October Libra like me. You Libra? Yeah. I didn't know you were a Libra. Yeah. Sixteen. He's a sixteen. He's not the October Libra. You don't act like the Libra that. Oh, you, this one? You were talking about this one, Libra? <laughs> it's because I'm a almost a Scorpio. <laughs> <laughs> Gee, come here really quick. We have to do this because we both of us are fags, uh-huh. and we are also surrounded by heterosexual men uh-huh. that are definitely so comfortable in their skin. Co- right. She, she come here, friend. Come here. <laughs> See. <laughs> is a man. You see this right here? Man, this, man. This is a man, man. Hold man, on. Man, man, man. This is a man. Man, man. Okay? M-A-N-E-N-N. This, we're, we're questioning. But this is <laughs> oh! a man. This right here is a man. This man is also comfortable in his skin. Comfortable in his manhood. Comfortable in his... I'm just... We, we, you gotta watch this. You gotta watch the playback. 
This is a man. No, you'll watch it back. You'll see it. But this yeah. right here is a man. A lot. A, lot. a man. This is the man. Was that? No. But this man right here, y'all, is going to be. And that man is going to be seen with me, I with me, in the place with me, and all this stuff. With a check, yes. And without. <laughs> because those are my friends. So my thing is, when you see men like that, don't question men like that. When you see men like them other niggas earlier, put your question mark up. Have your, have your paper out like this. Explain. <laughs> Explain why are you acting like that. Explain why you're acting like that. Now let us finish. Sorry, G, you interrupted us all the way around. But we, were... <laughs> now, what were we, we were talking about Jennifer Lewis. Now, Jennifer <laughs> Lewis had, when, when she went on uh, uh, with Robin Robbins, right? Mm -hmm. Honey, she done went out there in the Serengeti. Mm -hmm. She was out in the Serengeti. Mm -hmm. And she was walking in the darkness. And she took three steps and she fell. <laughs> Bitch, when I tell you, I was so engaged. I was too. Into that story about her walking off the Serengeti. And uh, we need to take this Quincy Hall, Quincy Paul person out of there. Who, let me see. Hold on. I got it, baby. Oh, okay. Just sit still. Let me oh, I got it. I see it. I see it. So we, when we, uh, when we watched it, we were very much so like, golly, you know, like this story was so full of theatrics, theatrics, and drama, and drama, and all that stuff. So is she the one that taught you how to do your storytelling? No, I, this is what I said. This is the first person, and pay attention very closely so that you never say that again. <laughs> <laughs> when I walked in Jennifer Lewis's house the very first time, uh -huh. that is the first time that I walked in the house mm. and I saw myself. Mm. Uh. I met lots and lots and lots and lots of people. Lots of people, mom. I mean, Craig, in my mm -hmm. life. I've met lots of people in my motherfucking life. But you never meet yourself. Uh, okay. When I walked in and it was and it was and she gave it, it was all of that. And like, you know, and she's you know, and she spoke about this public Jennifer Lewis is bipolar. Yeah. So I was like, well, wait a minute. Do we share the same spirit? I remember watching her on interviews and she was over there talking about um she was just talking. She's like, yes, yeah, and she's like, Baby, bring me back to where I was. And I know that I <laughs> Bring me back to where I was there. Tell me what right. I was saying. Right. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. I love her. I do with all of it in me. And so. But if you get a chance to look at that interview, it's on Hulu. It's, it's with Jennifer Lewis and Robin Roberts. And she talks about her trip to the Serengeti and how she fell. But what was so impactful about the story was how she said she fell 10 feet. She said, but she wants to tell people that not only can you get up from a physical fall, you can get up from any type of fall, whether it's a heartbreak, a divorce, whatever, you can always get up. And so it was, it was a great story. It really, really was.